So here is just a quick way to learn how to use Vokey um, in your classroom. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to the website, which is right up here. You type in, if you're not there, you can go to Google and you type in www.vokey.com and it will bring you directly to this page. And on this page, you have um, there's a lot of information on how Vokey works and what you can do with it and just uh, some background information about the actual application. To start your own Vokey, you want to go to register and you click on register and it's going to pull up a box and you just put in your information. It is absolutely free to register for a free account so you can do that very easily and you just sign in and it automatically starts your um, page. Um, I'm already in Vokey so I'm just going to click in the login screen so I can show you all what to do. Sorry, I have a hard time keeping up with my stuff. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get that in. Okay, so once you log in and you go to your page, it's going to come up just like this. And it's going to say create a new Vokey. I've already created one, but I'll show you what it looks like when you want to go to create a new Vokey. So you can click here. Or you can click up here where it says create. I already have some made, but I'm going to take you guys straight to the Vokey page where you can create one. So what you do is you go in, and it's a step-by-step -step process. Um, they have a lot of different uh, characters that you can choose from, themes that you can choose from. So you can customize them here. You can pick, like, different faces, different features, and different characters here. So it'll come up and it'll show you to give you like uh, different little odds and ends. You can get faces. It has random ones and you have VIPs and those are ones that are uh, specific that you can uh, pick from. They have clothing. You have bling. So you can do just about anything you really want when it comes to the Vokies. So once you have created picture one person or app character. Once you've created that, you can go down here, you can change the mouth, you can change the eyes, you can change the ear of the person, you can change all those things, and you customize the look of your Vokey. Now, once you've done that, then you give it a voice. So there's a couple of different ways that you can do that. You can text it, so you can do text-to-speech, and, and you can it'll create a voice for you, or you can give it a voice by you just calling in, and it'll record your voice, or you can have one that's already or you can record it through the computer. So you have that option. If you already have voices uploaded or sounds uploaded or people speaking uploaded, you can go ahead and um, use that as well. Um, once you've created the voice, you can also pick a background to put in the, in the back. So you can do this first, you can do this last, but they have a, a lot of different kinds. They have holiday backgrounds, sports backgrounds, some obscure backgrounds. So they just have a variety of um, backgrounds to choose from. Um, so once you do that um, and it's all said and done and set up, like this this little guy, I just wanted to show you guys what this was. It just picks a random character for you. So you, if you don't really want to pick one right away, you just wanted to do it, it can pick one for you. So once all of this is done and you've created it, you'll hit publish and it'll take you to where you can share it with your uh, classmate with your colleagues or with the students. So I'm going to go to my Vokey and I'm going to click on mine. And it's going to load it right now. So this is the Vokey that I created um, and this is just kind of what she sounds like. Hello and welcome to Green Valley Elementary School. I'm so excited that you're going to be a part of this second grade adventure with me. Okay. So, however you talk, that's just you. I changed my voice. So, once you have recorded your voice and it's on here, you can change the sound. So, you can make it a robot sound. It has a, They have a variety of different sounds on here that you can do to your voice. And then you'll just hit publish your Vokey. So, once you're done, you'll hit publish. And it's going to give you a couple of options. So you can post it to Facebook, Twitter, Google+, you know, or a blogger. Or you can copy the link and you can send it to people. Or if you want to put it on your webpage, let's say you have a class webpage that the kids have access to. And let's say you have an assignment that you want them to do. You can use your Vokey 
and you can record whatever the assignment is for the kids who need to have the auditory and they just want to see a picture have something animated and keep them engaged so so that they know what the assignments are um you can use Vokey, upload the um the yeah, project to your web page and the way you would do that is you would grab this code highlight it highlights the whole thing like if you double click it um, right click on it and then go into your web page and embed it because this is the embedded code for your web pages so um, once you've done that you're pretty much done now if you want your students to create um, a Vokey it's a whole nother story um, for classrooms to create a Vokey um, you the kids literally have to download a um, their own their own page so they have to get their own username and log in and all that and all the extra stuff and you can manage them through the welcome to your classroom manager so it has a classroom management system where you add all your kids and they get logins and all those things and then you can um, create lessons and things through here that the kids can produce through the single page so you can create a class account where the kids have access to this account and they can utilize this as part of their homework assignments if this is what you want them to use. Um, Bokey Presenter is another part of this application where you can create presentations with your Bokey and it talks while you're going through all the different, like let's say you have many video clips and you have like a PowerPoint presentation or something like that, it, you can create a presentation on here and you have easy access to them and you upload it and it have your audio plus your presenter which is your Vokey. So you have a Vokey presenter for you to utilize whenever you want to especially like if you're absent or something like that and your students really need to um, have that particular unit taught to them in a, in a certain way and you're not able to be there. You can record yourself and your Vokey presenter will be there and they'll know that and they'll have it. So that's just a quick um, how to on on Vokey and how to use it I hope you guys enjoyed it it's very easy very simple to use and it's a really fun way to change up how you teach in your classroom and how information goes about and if you really want to explore students being able to utilize it you know you know create that Vokey classroom account and have them go in and create their username and password it might be time consuming but in the long run once the kids have created it and they've created their own Vokey presenter or what the kids will call an avatar um, you know, it'll be good to go for home assignments and things like that. All right. Thank you.